Hello everyone. Today's lesson is about solving word problems involving addition and subtraction using Gaonsa approach. These are the steps to follow when you solve a problem. You should read and understand the given problem. Identify the given information. So, G stands for the given. You also have to know what is being asked in the problem. So, A stands for asked. After that, you have to know or determine the operation or operations to be used. So, O stands for operation. Then, you have to write the number sentence. So, N stands for the number sentence. Then, solve for the answer. S for the solution or solve, and A for the answer. Annie harvested 397 pieces of papaya and 264 pieces of guavas. If she sold 360 pieces of these fruits, how many pieces of fruits were left for her family's consumption? You can pause the video and read the problem again. The given in the problem, 397 pieces of papaya, 264 pieces of guavas, 360 pieces sold fruits. This given information can be used for you to make a number sentence. Ask in the problem, number of fruits left. Since we have already a clue that left means subtraction, therefore we will use subtraction. Not only subtraction, but also addition. So we will use addition and subtraction to get the correct answer. The number sentence will be 397 plus 264 minus 360 equals N. N here stands for the missing number of fruits, meaning to say we will solve for the N. And this equation is telling us to add first because addition comes before subtraction. We have to add the number of fruits being harvested because after that, we will take away 360 pieces. So from 661, we take away 360. So the answer is 301. Mother bought a banana for 65 pesos and a sweet potato for 48 pesos. If she gave a 200 peso bill to the fruit vendor, how much was her change? We can pause the video again. The given information in this problem are banana for 65 pesos, Sweet potato for 48 pesos and a 200 peso bill. This given information can be used to make a number sentence in this problem. So what is asked in the problem? The problem is asking us to change. And since it is a change, it means subtraction. And not only subtraction, but we also use addition. Why do we use addition in this problem? Because we have to add the total amount of the food being bought by the mother here. So we will use two operations, addition and subtraction. So the number sentence would be 200 pesos minus 65 pesos plus 48 pesos equals N. Now in this equation, we can see that 65 and 48 are grouped inside the parentheses, meaning to say we will add first before the 
the subtraction. Now, 65 plus 48 is equal to 113. So this is the total amount of the food bought by the mother. Now here at children, why do we have 200 pesos as the first number in the equation? Of course, common sense, you can't buy without the money. Now from your money, we will subtract 113. And the answer or the change is 87 